I'm Miss ready to say hi to. Oh my gosh. So Chicago weather has been like wackier than normal. Um, and I heard that February is going to be the worst. But uh, good thing is I guess we have only two weeks of February left. But anyways, um, yesterday we had a... It wasn't bad, but we had like a few inches of snow. Um, all night, uh, throughout the day and the night. And um, it finally stopped. It's very sunny out actually now, so it's good. And hopefully everything will melt off today. You know I love snow, I love winter, but I just like... What sucks about it is that it's not consistent. Like last week, it was all 40s and 50s, and all of a sudden, it starts to snow. And today, it's like down to like 20 degrees. So it's just like, you know, it sucks. Like, how do you dress? How do you like prepare? Because like Tony and I were ready to like put away our boots and like some of our jackets and all that, but we had to take it out again. So, um, but hopefully, I think maybe this was the last snow of the year. I don't know for the season. But um, anyways. Uh, to enjoy the last bit of snow, I'm going to take Ahmed to uh, like a dog park ish. It's like a big field. I don't think Ahmed is a huge fan of a dog park. Uh, I don't like to go to the Chicago one, like the, like near the city, uh, because I've seen literally every time I go, there's a, at least two fights, the dog fights, and like I feel like the I don't know, I just don't like how it's like taken care of, um, it's just like a personal preference, I don't know how, Ame is not the type that would just kind of like pick a fight, um, but still I just don't like the scene, I just don't, I don't like watching dogs fight, and some owners are really careless there, um, so I, I, I mean it's definitely closer, but I'd rather drive a little bit more and go somewhere more, it's uh, bigger land and everyone kind of just like, more chill. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's where we're going. And I did really crave some uh, pastries, the Korean pastries. I wish there were more, more options where I get to try new places every week. But unfortunately, we only have uh, Paris baguette and two Le Jour. So those are my two options.
Hello. As you guys can tell, I'm actually hanging out at my parents' house. Mm. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sleepy. I, I feel like I should go get some latte, but I don't know if I deserve it because I, on my way here, I got some McFlurry and fries. And I do have dinner with my parents, so do I deserve another latte or another sugary drink? Uh, I'm just having this craving for sweets are not going away. I don't know what to do. I'm just craving sweets left and right. Yesterday I was just watching TV and I think I finished half bottle of Nutella, just Nutella. Like, I, mean, I did have bread, but I'm just like, I saw Nutella. So, I could probably go for another, like, box of chocolate right now, if I could. Or something cold. I do want... Uh, man, should I get another... Uh, I don't know. It's so hard to resist. I don't know. Maybe I'm just more... Uh, lenient with myself because I'm pregnant. Maybe, like, unconscious, like, subconsciously I'm thinking that. I don't know but it's not good i really don't like the way i'm eating right now but i do crave it um so i'm just waiting for my parents uh and then i'm gonna eat dinner but before that i'm just thinking should i try to nap or should i go get some like coffee and check out Target. Because right now I'm, um, so I'm going to. I don't know if I told you guys this, but uh, after delivering the baby, I'm going to stay at my parents for a few weeks. Um, and obviously the baby needs a bed, and I think a crib is a little too much for here. My mom really wants one. Uh, but I told her we should just get a bassinet because I just feel like it just makes more sense having, you know, for this place. I am getting a crib from somebody else, so that's why I'm like not even looking at cribs right now. Um, but I think we, I do have to get a bassinet. I'm not really picky. I don't even know what to look for in a bassinet. I do want me one thing that I want is that don't, you know, like I think most of them don't do this, but the side opens up to the bed so I could to be next to the baby but it's the baby's still on its own bed so that's the only thing that I care about so there's really no point of even going to point of even going to target right I feel like I'm just gonna buy unnecessary stuff that I don't even need right now um but the room that is going to be my room and the baby is a plant room right now, so uh, I can't do anything right now until the weather really gets warm and all the plants are going to go out. And we're going to start putting, kind of like do a small makeover, put like a little uh, changing station, bassinet on his bed. Of course, he is still with me. I think I, I, I made it, so I wasn't really planning on staying here. I, um but my mom kind of insisted and i thought about it uh, i didn't want to because i've heard literally all my friends tell me like they because uh, literally, literally all my friends told me that they like bumped their heads with their moms because parents know the old way we learn through books and like i guess like a newer way so like you know everyone has disagreements but at the end of the day it is your baby uh, so I heard, um, if you want to move in with your, if you do want to get your parents care, um, make, like, make 
certain things clear with them. But for me, so I thought about that in the beginning. I was like, okay, I'm gonna give them these like rules <laughs> that, um, you know, this is my baby. All I really want is you to like help me. But I'm going to do. I'm going to make decisions on how to feed the baby, how to um, put baby to sleep, and et cetera, et cetera. I thought about that because I want to be very clear. I don't want to fight with my mom. And on top of that. I didn't want them to interfere with the way that I'm just gonna be with me and the baby. Like I'm not putting, I'm not isolating him. He's he's my baby too, you know. But I think my parents, being like an older generation and like a Korean, I think they, uh, I know that they think that all oh, the baby's fur cannot be good. Um, I think a few weeks are not gonna kill me. Hopefully, yeah, and I, I'm I'm hoping that this stays even after the baby comes uh, i don't change my mind because i think a few weeks of just my parents just kind of letting just kind of letting my mom i'm pretty sure my dad's not gonna interfere but it's just letting my mom kind of like do what she's always known it's not really gonna hurt me or the baby as long as like it is hurting the baby uh, which i don't think it's not gonna hurt anybody so i want to get i'd rather get her care and not fight with her as much as i can but if she like like nags a little too much okay that's a little different story but i don't want to fight because of what she's she knows and what i've learned through books and online i guess and i don't want to i don't want to fight over that i don't think it's worth it at the end of the day i am getting her help i am getting she is basically doing everything for me for a few weeks so i could recover as fast as i can and i'm out and i don't think that's gonna for anybody um i know it's easier said than done because i know that as the baby comes on you know comes out who knows what kind of postpartum i'm gonna go through oh emotional roller coasters and how sensitive i might be i could say all, th all these things but you know it, i might not even remember like saying all this so i really do hope that um i could keep this the same and remember like that i'm still getting someone's help i should be very grateful so um so that's why i decided to stay at my parents for a few weeks i don't want to do more than two months i don't even think yeah i don't think so um because we do tony and i do have to find a new place and our lease is over in august so we're gonna probably try to move out a little before that uh, so it might be a chaos. It might be seriously so crazy, but we'll have to deal with it. Good morning. Hi, everyone. So I just, uh, so I've been running around like a headless chicken getting groceries. I went to this one Korean grocery that's kind of dying, but they do have a lot of sales. That's why I go there sometimes. But man, they don't have a lot of stuff. So I had to make another stop. Um, not a big deal. I'm um, just kind of like, it's kind of getting hard for me to do things by myself. It's it's It takes a lot more than before, obviously. And it's very noticeable. So um, that's why I try to like not like go to too many places at once because my feet does get you know like hurt it gets sore and um and i get extremely tired so i try not to do that but today it's it was inevitable i just kind of i'm out i had to do it anyways um so i am so hungry i had my breakfast three hours ago but i'm like super super hungry i did want korean tonkatsu but um so that's what but like the place that i visited it was like it wasn't open or something like that so i don't want to drive too far um but i did get ingredients so i'm gonna make that at home tonight so for now i think i'm going to i do want some burgers again oh my gosh i know i eat so many burgers i haven't been to shake shack so i'm kind of thinking about going to shake shack what do you guys think i do want their cheese fries and their shake and their burger mm. So I think I'm gonna go there and I should be done. I just came to a random parking spot um, because it was very busy inside and I couldn't find any seats. 
So, I got some cheese fries. Oh my god, this is so expensive. I mean, like, I feel like anything over like $15 when you're eating alone is it's pretty expensive, I think. My opinion, I don't know. I mean, if I was with my friend or husband or anybody, you know, like, this is completely okay. Like, I wouldn't even think a second of it, but I think because I have, I've been eating out a lot alone, um, I just, I don't know. I guess it's different for everybody. Oh my god, their cap is like fucked up. Mmm. Uh, they kind of give me a... But, wow, it was so busy. I didn't think that it would be this busy because like, Shake Shack has been open in Chicagoland area for a while now. Mm. Got some cheese fries. I didn't want to wait to get home because I did want my cheese fries hot. I got a truffle shrimp burger. I think this is one of the newer ones in the menu. It did come with some sauce. I believe this is the truffle. I'm pretty sure. It's like that. I brought a fork. Oh wow, the truffle is pretty strong. Mmm, mmm, the cheese. Mmm. Mmm. I don't think I'm a huge fan of this truffle. Mmm. That's a lot of truffle sauce they give you. I need a table here. I really don't mind eating out like this alone because I know that I won't be able to for a while. After the baby comes. I'm pretty sure I could if I wanted to. But do I really want to try that hard to leave the baby alone with like my parents or something so that I could eat alone. I think I'm just trying to see the best of eating alone. But it's not something I prefer overeating with somebody. I mean, I think if you eat out or eat with people all the time, you will eventually miss eating alone. Like, you need it. But if I could choose the rest of my life to eat alone or eat with somebody, I will eat with somebody. I'm 
I think drinking and eating is like the best way to communicate or have a great time with people to have a great conversation it's the best way mm. but I do prefer like three or three but between three people to five people because I feel like for two two, two people like one person's gotta always talk and that person can't really it's either or you know so I feel like it might be harder to find time to eat but when it's three people I feel like the balance is really good And over five people are just all over the place. Everyone's having their own conversations. I don't know like that. So I've seen a handful of people that said I could only do home cooked food during their pregnancy. I think I was like that first trimester. But right now it's it's completely opposite. Like I want somebody to cook for me. I wanna go out to eat. But I do have at least one meal at home. Who loves home cooked Korean meals? Like I'm not even talking about like big like like rice cake or like seafood soup. I'm not even talking about that. Like it's, I'm talking about like small side dishes, like in small soup. He loves that. It is a comfort food for me, but I don't think it's something that I, I've been craving. It's, yeah, it's just like a quick meal thing for me. the sauce. I think I'm gonna munch on this fries. I should get a car wash. I am nearby so hmm. Hmm. <coughs> 